Jared Branthwaite has trained away from the full England squad today after feeling stiffness following his uh, game at West Ham United for Everton at the weekend. Played the full 90-odd minutes, of course. I've been missing for a few weeks following an injury he sustained last time he played for Everton, which was against Crystal Palace. Um, he was called up initially to the England on the 21 side, but was upgraded, if you like, yesterday when a few players pulled out of the full side. He was moved up to the full England squad, but today has spent the day training inside where it's warmer. Um, I imagine this is just a reaction to not playing games and hopefully there's nothing in it. Uh, England play Greece on Thursday, so that game might come a little bit too quickly for them. England also an action on Sunday against Ireland, which uh, could have Jake O'Brien in the side, who was also called up as a replacement for James Coleman. So hopefully Jared is... Uh, it's just part and parcel of getting back into the swing of things. Obviously, he's had an injury hit season so far, needing that surgery in the summer it knocked them back and then like I said getting injured feeling in, an injury after the Crystal Palace game and now this with the stiffness so hopefully it's uh, just building up and these uh, these injuries will subside for the rest of the season Everton has today been linked with a, another right back just seem to be linked with right backs every other day now uh, to this time it is Bright Osei Samuel who plays for Fenner Batty 26 years of age he's played 99 times for Fenner scored 6 goals he started his career at Blackpool and has also played at Queen's Park Rangers uh, rumours today saying that Everton are interested in taking him this following on obviously from the links to Tarek Lamptey who is out of contract next summer at Brighton. He's told them apparently he won't sign a new contract with the club. He hasn't really been used by Fabian Hertzler this season. Uh, Everton interested in taking him, apparently. He's had injury issues as well, but he is quite quick. But again, he's a right-back. I know he can operate on the left as well, but still a right-footed left-back. Not really what we need. But if Everton were to get him at the end of the season, say, on a free, then the chances are Asa Young and Seamus, well, Seamus flip of a coin whether he'll be here next season. Um, but Ashley Young certainly wouldn't expect to be here then. Maybe it'd be him and Patterson, but then that sort of blocks Roman Dixon's pathway as well. But we're just reporting what is in the news. That's all we're doing. This seems a more serious link, but it is transfer news. Uh, Everton today linked with Airdrie United twins, Cole and Dylan Williams, both 16 years of age. They've been on the bench for Airdrie's 13 three times this season. and They're getting rave reviews. Crystal Palace and a couple of other clubs looking at them as well, both midfield players. And um, Everton are looking in that market, of course. They did take Kieran Loney. From Partick Thistle, he joined Everton full time this summer. He's a, he was 16 in March. He's now a scholar at Everton, and Everton are looking north of the border now for more young talent. These two are very highly rated. Like I say, just 16 years of age, the pair of midfields. So the Blues are in that market, and it seems as though there's been a real uh, a real director from Kevin Thelwell over <coughs> excuse me over the last year to start looking in these markets, trying to get this young talent in, build them up. It's what we had a few years from not doing because every penny was sort of going on the first team and obviously we've had PSR issues and things like that. But those, as those pair strings loosen a bit, Everton are looking at that younger talent. We also, of course, brought in Braden Graham over the summer who the and he's had an excellent start to his Everton career in the under 18s. I think he's got eight eight goals in eight games and he looks he's hit really, really highly rated as well. And these are the players you've got to go and get. Manchester City have done this tremendously over the years and, and have built their their twenty ones or their development side, if you like. Everton have got to do it with as much young talent as they can. They've got to make sure that those kids see a pathway into the first team. But this is the way that you start to shape a squad and Listen, these lads are 16. There's a there's a big difference in being highly uh, rated 16 year old and actually playing in Everton's first team. But you've got to start somewhere. So hopefully Everton can uh, can continue to identify really talented younger players and try and get them in and develop them. A either as Premier League Everton footballers or B to develop them into footballers and make some money on them because we've seen how important that is with PSR. So Everton continuing to monitor Cole and Dylan Williams at Airdrie United. 
that is it for the news daily make sure you give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't check out the 1878 fm podcast that's out as well see you later